I was currently as vice president. Okay. So uh, we've been around since 1986 and it was founded by a small group and a, a lovely woman named Betty Forrest who really thought it was important to promote jazz and the jazz musicians that we have in West Michigan. The opinions expressed in the following program are those of the producer and not necessarily those of WKTV Community Media. Hello, West Michigan. This is Grand Tap Media Business TV. My name is Pamela Keim, your host. The spirit of the show is to introduce West Michigan to all the businesses, nonprofits, individuals that can help us thrive in our lives. Well, it's summertime and it's music time. And we have a very special guest for you today. We have the West Michigan Jazz Association here today. And I, we are gonna be speaking with Shannon Dennison and she's gonna be sharing about their upcoming concert series at Millennial Park. So I wanna welcome Shannon to the show thank today. Thank you, it's a pleasure to be here. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for being here. And of course, every summer in West Michigan does mean concerts. People wanna get out, they wanna be with their families. And I want you to share, maybe some people that are watching don't even know that there's a West Michigan Jazz Association or what, can you kind yes. of share? Who, who is it, who is this? So the West Michigan Jazz Society, is an organization whose mission is to advance, uphold, and sustain live jazz through promotion, performance, and education. Uh, really exciting right now, like you said, we have our 10-week concert, uh, summer concert series coming up, which will be at Millennium Park. Yes. And that's every Monday from 6.30 to 8.30. It is a free event, and we're super excited. We're gonna be kicking it off with the West Ottawa High School uh, Jazz Band. And that's also part of our mission to help encourage and promote uh, students and, and uh, jazz. Well, okay, so it's at Millennial Park. Is it, it is a family would go or I would go with my, is there like food or do I have to bring a picnic bag? What, why does it all work? Yep, so it's at Millennium Park and it is in the Meadows Pavilion. So that is the on the east side there. Mm -hmm. um, and you can bring your own food and snacks and picnic blanket, whatever you want. We will have food trucks there as well. Okay. Uh, so yes, you can come and just enjoy. It's a free event and you can bring whatever you want to eat or you can come and, and take part of the, the food vendors that will be there. You be, and now let's talk a little bit about you know the West Michigan Jazz Association. How long have you guys been going on? I mem you might have just mentioned that. I'm trying to think of, of, because I heard your name through all my friends. And who are you? Are you on the board? What is this all about? Yeah, okay, right? so I am on the board. Um, my role right now is currently as vice president. Okay. So uh, we've been around since 1986 and it was founded by a small group and a, a lovely woman named Betty Forrest who really thought it was important to promote jazz and the jazz musicians that we have in West Michigan. And so she was married to a pretty famous musician, Jimmy Forrest. Okay. And he was our first jazz musician of the year. But she was in charge and she got together a group of people and uh, created a nonprofit and a board. And ever since then, I think the main thing that people will probably remember is um, our jazz in the, in, well, at the zoo, it started out, jazz at, at the zoo okay. for many years. And then um, in the past 10 years or so, we've bounced around from um, downtown at Anavuan Park. And for the past three years, we've been, well, four years, I guess, if you don't want to count COVID, <laughs> um, we've been at Millennium Park. And it's just been really great to be out there. And it's, it's two and a half hours, uh, how's the parking, everything goes well? Right, so I'm glad you asked that. We have, a, the Jazz Society is uh, has a membership, mm -hmm. and so we do give preferred parking to our members. There's a spot up on the top where, you know, we're gonna reserve parking for our members because it does get crowded, but they have plenty of parking and they will park in the grass, and we um, actually have volunteers that help us direct parking for that. All right, so you're looking, so you said this has been around for a while, you've been involved, are you, do you play? You sing? What? What? what what's I your role here? How did you get in? Why did you get into this? Well, I got into this from uh, one of my good friends, Donna Caney, uh, who's married to another musician of the year, Mark Caney. He plays uh, keyboard, piano, and sings. And uh, she and I, they, we went to church together, and she knew of my involvement um, in different boards and. 
she was on the board at the time and said, we really need somebody like you on our board. So I said, okay, tell me more. <laughs> and I love music and I always have. I went to Northview High School and I okay, played so clarinet. Yep, right. I played clarinet and, and in a band and actually uh, Max Colley Jr. was my uh, teacher there and he also won one of the West Michigan Jazz Society Awards. That's the Bruce Early Education Award. So he was honored for that a few years back. Actually, I think it just came up on my Facebook memories nine years ago Oh already. my gosh. Yeah, I know and when the things come up, you can't believe it. It's been five to ten. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been on Facebook for a long time with the, with the, with the, uh, the show and when memories come up, I'm like, it was like five, six years ago? It's yeah. almost embarrassing, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but he's really inspired a lot of great musicians in the area. And we are so blessed, really, in Grand Rapids in West Michigan to have a very vibrant music scene. And so the Jazz Society, I believe, is a part of that. Uh, and we will promote, um, you know, we've got a great website with a calendar. If you're ever wondering, gee, what's going on tonight? Where's the live music? Right. You can go right on our uh, our website, which is wmich, W-M-I-C-H, jazz.org. Okay. And there you will find all the information about what's going on in, for live music. And what, okay, so uh, music is such a part of our lives. Well, you and I grew up and, you know, we can age ourselves a little bit, you know, date ourselves. Uh, music is, is it, is our, how is that being promoted like in the schools to kind of bring because you can't really do anything after you get out of school there's unless you go into a band right but i mean what is the uh, the growth of music still today and before everybody wanted to play the guitar the piano they wanted to be part of a band has that changed somewhat or is it still people wanting to be part of music i think everybody wants to be a part of music whether you are playing or you are uh, actively uh, you know uh, listening uh, we found that uh, jazz music in particular is very good for your health even. You know, right. it'll help you slow down your heartbeat and help you relax and actually help you concentrate if you're, uh, you know, doing like when I'm working and trying to focus on some harder tasks, I'll put some good jazz in the background and it'll help me focus too. We, we have a, a newsletter that goes out every quarter to our members okay. and there we also try to promote education and talk about um, different genres of jazz and uh, what's going on in the community and uh, the education part you mentioned. So one of the things that we do is we will send out musicians to local area schools to do a little assembly. Uh, depending on what age, you know, elementary through middle and even high school. Right. And just to expose children to the, the wonderful American jazz genre. Well, okay, so you have the, so how, you are all volunteer, Yes, right? we are. And uh, you have, you know, you, do you have like sponsors? Do you get money anywhere else? Or do it's all fundraising? How does yes. this all work, all these moving parts? Yes, we, uh, we, we, we have sponsors. We have uh, individual donors and we would love to get a grant somehow I think that's probably something that we qualify for but okay. it's harder to you know you need somebody that's very good at, at doing that to, to get it so uh, but you know we've we've started to do uh, we had our very first gala event which is a, a, oh, yeah, a, sure, a fundraiser. About that. What was that? That was that was last Thursday at the home of Kent and Susan Riddle and what we did is we were able to combine our annual event of the M M Musician of the Year Award with our Betty Forrest Jazz Ambassador Award. We made our award ceremony a fundraising event. And so there we had sponsors um, and uh, we also, you know, accepted donations. We had a wonderful curiosity stations out there. We had the swing, Grand Rapids Swing Dancers out there um, giving instruction. Yes. We had uh, Paul Brewer and Robin Connell, two of our former past musicians of the year. They uh, had hold of a little baby grand piano and I think uh, Paul brought his trombone and they did Anyone Can Improvise. So, uh, which, you know, if you're not a musician, you think, oh, I no, not me, I can't, I can't, but it's true. So what they'll do is they would have you sit down at the piano and maybe just play the white keys or just play the black keys. And then they're playing behind you. Uh, and it was really lovely. We had uh, one of our longtime members, Elsa Fierens, who is um, 
Oh gosh, she's, I'm going to say she's in her upper 80s and she is always at local jazz scenes and she's one of our biggest supporters and she sat down and it was just really lovely because it sounded great. Well, that's one thing about it, music, music kind of brings people together. Mm -hmm. It's just, it does it with ease because, mm -hmm. you know, even people that you may not have the way we are today, um, but if you put a song on that you both grew up with or you danced as a kid. It kind of, it's, it's kind of nice, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> and that is one of the cool things about jazz, I think, is it brings together, you know, young and old, rich and poor, you know, everybody from all kinds of backgrounds. And there's place to dance, and we love seeing people dance. We is have, that what the, you can do that in Millennial Park? Yes, you, you can. Dance? Yep, and okay. we always have, you know, you'll see the little kids get out there, and there's a, a few in our membership that, couples that like to get their groove on, and so they'll go out there and dance, too. And so. how many, uh, I mean, uh, when you're looking at the population, Population of coming to see jazz. I mean, what 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 kind of turnout are you guys having at Millennial Park normally? Right. So you know, when we started, it was in the hundreds, but we're getting really close to the thousand thousand people mark there. So and there's plenty of space, which is great because it's on a nice hill. Okay. Um, so uh, yeah, in plenty of parking, and of course, if you've been to Millennium, you know it's just a beautiful park. Right. Plenty of space to walk around and, and things like that. I used so. to go to Cannonsburg. I, I don't think they've had that for a few no. years. I'm not really sure what the issue is. It could be that, you know, things just haven't come back together. And that was a big deal to go to that. And so when um, I heard about the Jazz Association, I was at West Michigan. I was like, well, this is kind of cool. I mean, it just, I don't know. I guess I guess everybody loves to bring up, you can bring a pick, you can bring Absolutely. in a picnic lunch, right? Mm -hmm. a, a dinner like we used to do. Or you can, there's food there, correct? Right. Mm -hmm. On that one. And then um, did you said uh, being a part of WKTV studio here, and thank you for being here. You knew Kevin. Brewster? Yes, Kevin he Brewster. He performed here for our open house. Oh, yes, and he just played at our um, our event last Thursday. Okay. So our musician of the year this year is Dr. James Sawyer, who was a teacher at East Kentwood High School, and the musician of the year always gets to pick the band for okay. the event, and he is the one who picked the Kevin Brewster band. Kevin and his, his um, people played with uh, for Jazz in the Park last year. Right. So it was a real treat to have them back. Yeah. All right. Well, so and he's very good. He, uh, we're having another, we're dedicating um, part of this building that we to somebody that was a major donor to us that passed away. So you know we, we're going to have that big event at the end of this month. But our next, I think next week, next week Saturday, and I'm sure Kevin will be performing, which was be be kind of nice to listen to him. All right. So how do you get now when you go to the park, right? And you see the jazz, and you're in a jazz. How do you? How do you try out? I mean, how would you get, I want to be part of, I want to, I want to perform. I feel like, well, how's that all process work with the, the West you know, Michigan Jazz Association? Well, the, so the Jazz Society, we're Society. promoting the, the bands and the, in the different events. There are, I think what you're talking about there is like a jazz jam. So that's a really, jazz is a unique uh, form of music, right? And it's purely American and that, you know, people can get up, people who have never played before can get up and play together, right. you know, um, a standard something and they can, they can improvise, you know? So a jazz jam is exactly what happens in that situation. So if somebody wants to come, if they want to sing, if they want to play, they would come to one of those jazz jams. And I think right now, uh, GR Noir is the place to, that, that has those. And uh, one of our board members, Kevin Jones is a percussionist and he, um, he would run that, that jazz jam. So it, it, you, know, you just want to keep an eye out there and again, look at the calendar. But if you All see right, something- You have a whole lineup already. Absolutely. Set, and it's like how many, people come up and perform normally on, uh, is it one person for two hours or how's that work? So we have a whole lineup of different bands and we try to incorporate different genres of jazz also. Mm -hmm. We usually start out the series with a high school band and this year it's the West Ottawa High School Band. Oh nice. Uh, part of our mission of course is to educate. We have a scholarship program and so we encourage uh, jazz musicians to please apply. We've uh, supported uh, students to go to the Aquinas Jazz Band Camps. We've supported, uh, let's see, Northview High School and Byron Center High School to go to the Duke Ellington Festival. Um, I think it was in New York and then it was down south. And uh, they did really well there. So wow, that was okay. exciting too. Yeah, and uh, you're mostly volunteers. How are, you, how are you finding your volunteers were? 
I mean, is, are you still needing volunteers? We How always is this need, all? always need volunteers, always need volunteers. So yeah, we're looking in for, for all, be people from all kinds of backgrounds and skill sets. So, uh, you know, we have the bucket brigade at our Jazz in the Park where we pass the bucket around uh, so that people can donate. So if you wanted to do help out with that, we could use that. If you wanted to help out with parking, that's always something. Um, we have people that write reviews for our newsletter. So if you're a writer and you really enjoy listening, you could write a review. Right. Um, there's just all kinds of things. And you put that out, what, every three Every months? quarter, typically, yeah. Yeah, I saw that online when I was um, when I was having you on my show. I'm like, okay, what's out there? And what, what what's going on with the society? I mean, it, it, is, it is amazing how it's, like you said, it's been around for the 1980s. And I had no idea that it's been well, you know, I'm busy. I, I raised my family in Granville, but now that I'm, you know, have the more of be able to enjoy those music times, there wasn't a really a, you know, big deal about jazz, but now it's, it seems to be very popular. Yeah, and you know, we have a lot of great new musicians to thank and, and our own, um, you know, collaborations here in Grand Rapids, like with St. Cecilia Music Society. I know. Do you uh, collaborate with them? Oh, yes. It? Yes, we do. Okay. And, uh, you know, we help them out. They help us out. A lot of our members, of course, go to their events. They have a great jazz series. Emmett Cohen, w who went there, this young, I can't, I'm going to call him a kid. He's probably... 30 something but um, and you know if you ever wondered about the fate or future of jazz you just look at him and what he's doing which is traveling across the world and you know just bringing in people that love jazz and what he's done is he's so so well versed in uh, in in all the genres of jazz is that he's created something new so when you listen to him it's just super uplifting very positive and you're going to hear a little bit of louis armstrong you're going to hear you know some stand gets you're going to hear all these different things in there but he makes it his own so it's just really wonderful well it's not well it doesn't sound like it and i did look up you know some interviews you guys have a youtube channel or somebody that does an interview process for your society. Uh, I saw. I was listening to an interview this morning, kind of seeing what what I'm always researching. I'm like, what kind of questions do they ask? You know? Yeah, <laughs> whatever. That one. But they, he was from out of town. They were. He was coming in or something. He was going to perform. Yeah. So you get a lot of people that will come in and do a performance. We do. We try to bring people from out of town too. And of course, we're it's, it's that balance of supporting our own local musicians and then also bringing in some great talent from out of town too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And do you uh, perform every? Every, every, what, every couple months do you get to perform? Or? Me personally? Yeah. I don't think jazz. I don't, I don't, I don't do too much with the, with jazz myself. I'm, I'm with a Thresholds Choir. Um, different thing there. But uh, yeah, every, every Monday we do the Jazz in the Park series this summer. So that's going to be that's great. A, well, that's a big, that's your big thing. And yeah. to get people out. Now I saw that your board, you have some really nice, great people on your we board. We really do. How long you been, you said, how long have you been on the board? Um, well, this round, it's been just over a year. And then I had a little break, and I was on it um, before that too. I, I served as president and vice president before too. Does that keep you pretty busy? It is a busy job. It is. Yeah. And uh, it, are you looking for board members? How is that? Yeah, we usually like people to start out on a committee and um, you know do that. So we are always looking for good people. Yeah, well, that, well that's always. And you know, you are what your board can commit to and whatever. All right, so. Um, I was going to ask you, with making sure we have, so what does, in the community, we already talked about that, the West Michigan Jazz uh, Associate, um, Society, what do they actually do in the community? And you said already that, I want to make sure I have all these questions done. And how can, now, how, like you said, besides volunteers, how can people get involved? Right, well, I, I would encourage them to get on uh, our, our website and also to follow us on Facebook. We okay. go live a lot with jazz, um, and then we'll let people know what the needs are. And, of course, if people come to uh, Millennium Park, uh, we'll have a table there and newsletters, and people can come up and ask how they can get involved, and uh, that way, too. We'll well, and you are, you are, you have the word out in the schools, right? And colleges, yes. they have jazz programs in the colleges, too? Absolutely. To help to bring that. And I'm sure there's people out there that would love to perform or at least, you know, go to some, some of your event to appreciate other people's music, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm going in on that one. Okay. And, um, you, we, and I just want to double check. I'm going to make sure I have all these questions uh, that I was interested in asking. And why is jazz so important today? Why would you think it is so important compared to, 
You know what I mean? There's other music out there that people, but why is jazz yeah. so important? Jazz is purely American music. You know, it, it was something that evolved from uh, black slave culture. And so American music solely, it's, it's, it's very independent and it's spread, you know, since the early part of the last century and it has continued to evolve. So, you know, there's just so many, when you say jazz, I don't know what comes to you mind, your mind, but you know, there's just all kinds of different genres there, right? People having a good time up there playing and, and we can uh, kind of, we can all relate. It's, jazz is kind of, you know, that type of music. Yeah, and it's the kind of music I think um, uh, just that, that helps you relax and, and mm -hmm. let go of your troubles, you know. Yeah, so. you can see somebody just at night with a nice glass of wine, putting on some jazz music to kind of, you know, just wind down. Right. And, and enjoy a conversation with a little bit of a background. Yes. On that one, does that make, and I'm not sure what everybody else's idea of that, but... Yeah, and you know we've got just some really talented people in, in terms of other media. We've got Lazaro Vega and Scott Vanderwerf who have great jazz programs on their um, individual stations, and they provide a lot of education too. They talk about the musicians and the history and the recording, well, and then also support. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it goes way back, and we've seen that with movies and stuff like that. With with that, all right. Shannon, how can um, how can the people reach you, and so, what can they do to you know if they want to donate, be a sponsor? Share yes. a little bit. If you want to donate, if you want to be a sponsor, if you want to come to Jazz in the Park, let just come to the the Millennium Park for that, and then go on the the, the social media sites onto um, Facebook, follow us there, West Michigan Jazz Society, and onto the website, which is wmich w m i c h jazz dot o r g. And everything starts at Millennium Park next week. Monday. On uh, Mondays. Yes, yes. So it's every Monday, right? Every Monday. We're taking a little break off for 4th of July, but every Monday, 10-week concert series, we have two rain dates, too. So if it, we get rained out, we'll be doing put, putting it at the back of the schedule in August. So if it, if, if it rains, you're going to reschedule. Yes, and we will know that by 3 o'clock. By 3 yes. o'clock, okay. Yeah. That's kind of nice. Is there anything else you'd like to share with our audience before we, we wrap up this interview? Um, Just that we encourage everyone to come out and uh, to be a part of our, the, the jazz music this summer and have a good time. All right, I want to thank Shannon Dennison thank for you. being here. And what do they have to look forward to on Monday? W the Jazz in the Park so series at Millennium <laughs> Park, West Michigan Jazz Society. <laughs> all right, take care, everyone. This is Pamela Kine from Grand Tap Media. We wanted to make sure that that all came out correctly. Have a wonderful day. We'll catch you next time. Take care, everyone. Mm -hmm.